Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. You got a Cospet box here. We've all heard and played with Cospet watches. This is magic. No, not that kind of magic. Not that kind either. This is three. This is Magic 3 inside of here. Cospet Magic 3 with some nice packaging. It's got a half-finished box with a clear see-through cover, which makes it great for giving as a gift. Unless you can't get into it. You're not seeing me do this. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Greetings. No, we already did that. Okay. Take the cover off. <laughs> oh, we're having too much fun. Here's the watch itself, and it's got a nice TPU band. It's a apple style shape type thing. And before we get much further, let me tell you about this one. The Cospet Magic 3 is coming to us from a brand new partner, WII Buying or We Buying. You've heard of the We Watch 2 app for the Android watches, spelled the same way, WII. Well, this is a brand new website. Coming to us as a, a kind of a phoenix. There are some folks that left a major company we have all known and heard about that are um, doing entrepreneurial startup. Cream of the cream of the crop behind the startup of the new We Buying website. So anyway, it's the Cospet Magic 3. Got a decent introductory price. And check the show notes for a, uh, a coupon deal for you as well. Now... The detailed specs and the highlights of this watch are right here. Um, 1.71 inch TFT screen, got a decent 280 by 320 resolution, 220 milliamp hour battery for seven days of use and 35 days of standby time. Uh, it uses the DeFit app. We've reviewed that many times, and it's a 22 millimeter strap. I like that they're putting that in here now. Here are the uh, fine details of the specs, which uh, doesn't have GPS, but it does have Bluetooth 5, heart rate sensor, blood oxygen sensor. And by the way, gang, those are two separate sensors. I checked it. It's got green and red diodes, so you're getting the blood oxygen appropriately from the red diode uh, technology. We've got a charging wire in the box, your standard two-pin connector. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Uh, yeah, I can even hold the watch. <laughs> That's my test on how well secure it is so it should connect easily yep the bands are removable they're really nice tpu lots of uh, holes and close together so you should be able to get it on your wrist just the way you want it we've got a warranty card from cospet they're starting to do that now with a lot of their different watches and, um, you could fill that out warranty description what's covered and for your records and then uh Email addresses for after sales support, cospet.com. Yep. Okay, let's look at the manual. The manual uh, for the uh, Magic 3, basic information, and the specs all over again. I would trust the ones in here in case you see a conflict with the ones I showed you, because oftentimes they're just being typed back into a server for the product page. But in the manual, they should be pretty clean. Pretty interesting watch faces we're going to take a look on here. There's the DeFit app, the steps you go through in setting up the app. Pretty straightforward. And very picture-oriented, which makes it nice. Here's where you have your stock watch faces. You can customize one face with a separate picture and move the time around on that picture. And you have access to a server where you can download one additional face from a plethora of faces that they have set up for you to take a look at. Here's other buttons and things. We'll see those on the watch itself. There's your setup stuff. Looks kind of familiar, huh? Yeah, well, toward the end of the video, I'll tell you why. Uh, but we're going to go through this watch and show you what it does. Here's the uh, overall layout. It's in the Apple style bubble, bubble menu layout for all of your apps. Uh, icon driven, so you'll need to learn what the icons mean, but it's not too hard. There aren't all that many of them in here. 
This is all in English, gang. Amazing. Okay, the fine print, which is actually really fine. And that's it. All righty. You know what we got to do. Peel off the cover first, then charge it up and turn it on. So, yeah. We'll be right back. So, a press on the side button. Ah, 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 ah. I said side button, but believe it or not, it's two buttons. You see power and back. It's a rocking button. I can tap it that way or tap it that way. But guess what? Watch. I'm going to tap on the back side and it turns on anyway. So, it looks like it's a rocker. But the experience I've had is it, it's one button and it does all of it. Here's our first watch face. It's a doozy and it's bright and it's beautiful. And look at all that great, great stuff. We've got step count and calories burned and distance traveled all there along with heart rate. All of it integrated here. We're going to play with this one extensively in a moment. We're going to swipe down to show you the big layout here you got all your main stuff at the top we got vibration mode on or off if you want to when you're tethered that'll be lighted up you have a variety of different levels of brightness there you go all the way dim and that's still pretty decent brightness and of course you can go way up bright let's do about halfway for our our tests you got a flashlight built in here you can turn on or off You've got a theater mode, which will automatically put it in soft lighted mode. When you're tethered, you're going to have weather there. And then you got your overall settings where you can access a stopwatch, alarm, a countdown timer. There's our brightness again, the vibration shake on. There's that theater. You can reset it, power off. About the watch shows you it's the magic three, the information that you need. And there's the uh, QR code to scan for the app. Or, and I recommend you use the link in our show notes, it'll take you over to the DeFit app directly. And that we got to right here in the settings, and all of that was accessible by swiping down. When you swipe to the left, well, hello, everybody. This is our very detailed Apple-style menu. Um, not one of my favorites, because I lose my place when I'm navigating for you guys. I go this way, and I get uh, a section for sports that's going to show me, with graphs, my um, maximum and minimum and calories burned and distance traveled and blah, blah, blah. And you can see little bitty ticks on there. There's a chart um, that's starting to develop. So that's pretty cool. Last night's sleep time, 6 hours and 13 minutes. Uh, anyway, and you get a, a chart of sorts day by day that is showing up there then you get your uh, heart rate measurement i don't know if you saw it but there were green diode coming on and it really quickly tells you if you're not wearing it properly so i'm going to put my finger over it and let it start up again to measure the heart rate that's the size of the digits so we don't have to go through the whole thing but i want you to see that hey hey where's the diode I think it's doing it. Oh, no. Now it's doing it. You have to touch the, the actual thing, make it go away, and now it's doing it. See the green diodes? Okay. Then if you slide up, you're going to get continuous uh, heart rate stuff. you got your minimum and maximum, uh, what zone you're in, and look at this wonderful chart that's developing over time. Really a sweet watch. Yep. That was in heart rate. Come over here, you got exercises. You got a variety of them. I can open a new workout. And you got 20 of them now. There's swimming. I got it set on there to look at it. You got football and basketball and so forth. Cycling, running, and walking, your standard. No GPS in here, but you got um, step count for the things that require it. But you've also got hiking, tennis, football, golf. Look at all these elliptical, rowing, trail running skiing, dumbbell, wow, sit-ups, all kinds of things. And you can open a new workout. Well, we just did that. You can you can get your information, I guess, your last exercise information from here. We're going to come back, going to come over, going to go here to blood pressure. It's using, you saw it briefly, the green diodes for blood pressure as well. And, of course, it's giving me that thing again. Here's the last one. If I touch it, it takes a reading. Here's my history with charts. Yep. And after blood pressure is blood oxygen. Did you see it? The little red diode. I love it. There it is. Wow, i got to be so quick. Okay, I'm going to cover it, and we'll touch it again.
And now it's starting to take a blood oxygen reading using the red diode. Uh, sophisticated watch. You're going to get most likely, and I say that qualitatively, better data with this one than you would with one that just uses a straight green diodes. Okay, and it gave me a percentage, and then when I come up, you see my minimum and maximums, normal, and then the last seven readings will show up here as well, just like on the blood pressure and the um, heart rate. Okay, gave me 99%. Uh, right, blood oxygen. Then you've got weather in your area pushed from your phone. When you set that up in the DeFit app, you can choose Fahrenheit, centigrade. You can choose the city of your choice, or you can have it tied to where you currently are. you got a shutter. You can remotely take a picture and a remote music player in here as well. It doesn't loop. Uh, it just goes to there, so you got to go all the way back, or you press the button and get out of here to the watch face itself. So now let's tackle that uh, menu to see if there's anything we've uh, left out. There's brightness. What's that thing there? Well, that's your about. We already showed you that as well. Um, that is the stopwatch. We took a brief look at that. You've got this thing. This is fun. This is that breathing thing. You press the start and you can inhale and exhale and help calm your spirit and do uh, some mental and emotional relaxation. There's that theater mode. There's weather. When you're tethered to the watch, we can get that heart rate, blood oxygen. There's the music player, but we've seen all of those. So this is just another way of showing them. Flashlight. There's your last night's sleep information. That is your watch faces. Okay, how you quickly get back to your watch face. There's your overall exercise stuff. And this is your countdown timers. So you can set a countdown timer, have it go, and let's see if it still works when we leave here. So supposedly we have a one minute countdown timer happening. That's the QR code. This is your step count, obviously. Blood oxygen, your remote camera picture taking thing, your messages as pushed from your phone, uh, which I think you get to also if you'd swipe up. And there's the vibration on off. There's the turning the power on off. And this is if you want to do a factory reset, which we don't want to do because we're waiting a whole minute to see if we're going to get an alarm uh, notification. So those are all of the different apps that are installed along with system settings. What it doesn't have, and I'm kind of glad, is it doesn't have all 20 of the different exercise routines on here cluttering everything up, swimming and running and cycling. Um, that's all bundled under the exercise, not the step count, but the, the flexed arm exercise one. And there it is. We got the, uh, the countdown timer. Now, you see we've got all this data accumulating on this watch face with the time up here. Very busy, but very informational. If you want other watch faces, you can press and switch them. Here's a really nice colorful one. Gives you an idea of the black barrier border around it. It's not too obtrusive. It does. It's a little small within the size of the overall watch, but it uh, contours nicely. It's not off offset or skewed anywhere. You got a, a big one like that. You got a straight analog watch like that. And this is the one where you can go in in the app and you can change the background picture and you can change the color and what you display here. You want steps or do you want heart rate or whatever. All of that's available. And then here's one that I downloaded from the DaFit app. Uh, itself um, that was easy to do and you have one position you can change it out as much as you want to simple little one again it shows the edge to edge effect of the uh, the screen it's nice rounded screen uh, really a beautiful watch but I did mention that um, it's not alone the Magic 3 has a little sister. Here she is. Really nice watch. Uh, definitely different design. We got gold, a tapered uh, metal edge on here, and a knob instead of a button, which lets us twirl to change things like the watch faces. What's different? Well, between the two of them, they're a little bit different. It looks like in size, kind of more square, a little bit more rectangular, or maybe I'm just optical illusion. I'm not sure. Uh, definitely thinner uh, with the 
uh, ladies version than the Magic 3 here and a little bit lighter as well but both really nice watches uh, by the same DNA from the same family line you can see that the innards are very similar we got pretty much the same thing here let's lower the brightness to this one to be about the same there we go they time out pretty quickly actually this is brighter than this one at that brightness so I'll just try to equal them there we go now um, I can come back over here if I go this way I'm into the full layout of all of the apps they're similar but slightly different as you can see the way they're oriented I've uh, got to press the come back here if we go this way we get into these different panels that show you sports and sleep we've seen all this already but just to show you that also we have blood pressure and blood oxygen on this one then weather shutter and player all those are the same but when you swipe up here you get your basic notifications here we get a whole bunch of more we're getting kind of the whole menu repeated again but this time linearly uh, just a different setup just a different design all in all pretty much the same watch so it would make a nice combination if you're interested in looking up this one go to smartwatchticks.com look for the little magnifying glass and just type in y20 it'll take you to the review but today we're talking about the magic three so let's continue and here it is on yep very attractive watch floats nicely on the arm buttons on the side on and off yep works really great so i bet you're wondering again where can you get it mm -hmm. from our brand new partner we buying uh the cospit magic 3 about 35 dollars less if you use our buying link and apply the coupon that we've got and uh yeah i think it's a pretty decent watch got the nice little button uh, on the side or you can play with the twirly knob on the uh, the y20 and you can take a look at that uh, review as well either way you go a his and hers it looks like a nice combination all right gang thanks for watching we'll see you again soon